So story-wise, we're not gonna give everything away today. But uh, what we can give away is the story actually starts with Ori's birth. Ori's little forest spirit is actually that's yes. actually the character that uh, that people play. Um, and Ori is being born into exile and is being raised by his mother Naru, um, but loses his mother early on, and then has to go out and find out more about himself and about the forest that he lives in. So it's a little bit of a coming of age story, really. Okay. Yes. Uh, what are the main main influences of your game? I mean, generally in terms of gameplay, we were absolutely influenced by all these kind of like great classics of the 8th and 16th bit era, right? Yes. Um, in terms of the story and in terms of the cinematic presentation and so on, we're absolutely inspired by things like, you know, Studio Ghibli um, and also by Disney films that we grew up with, like Lion King okay. or Iron Giant. Yes, so, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yes. So movies also. Absolutely, uh, yeah. Uh, not just games and uh, no. I, there's a lot of inspiration. I mean, I take inspiration from music, right? And that kind of stuff. How has it been to develop a game for Xbox One? Um, actually, the game has been in development for almost four years, right? So we okay. didn't start on Xbox One. But then when we actually got the chance to uh, develop on Xbox One, uh, it's really nice to have a lot of force power. Um, oh, yeah. And yeah. just be able to do things that you just couldn't do with the previous console generation. At the same time, I mean, we have to make sure that, you know, it also works on 360 because at some point we'll also ship it on 360. Um, yeah, but it's, it makes it makes life as a developer always easy to have more hard, more hard power. Okay, yes. Uh, what do you consider the main focus group for the game? Is it the kids or ev everyone? I hope it's for everyone. I, I yes. really do hope that it's for everyone, that everybody can enjoy it and that we kind of like introduce a whole new generation of people to to platforming, into this kind of platforming, um, but we definitely make the game for um, people that grew up, you know, in the 8th and 16th bit era and so on. Yeah. Okay, yes. Uh, I have seen uh, a brief gameplay and it has some kind of dark tone to it. Uh, yeah. Does it have? <laughs> so, is it the dark game? Again, I don't want to give too much away. Okay, sorry, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. But it's not all, you know, light and sunshine. Okay, yeah, Absolutely. yes. Yeah. Not Super Mario stuff. <laughs> no, it, it heads into a very different direction, I'd say. Yes, yes.